encouragement for everyone out there. And there's some tips and tricks I'm gonna share with you guys in this video in order to kind of hide the imperfections of your hair. And when I say imperfections, I just mean that the hair is not completely mature. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first things first, we're gonna talk about the puffiness of his dreadlocks right here. And I mentioned this in a previous video of John Morant, but anytime your dreadlocks are puffy or maybe they seem a little loose or frizzy, and obviously the look of them is based on the hair type. So in his case, with his hair being a 4B, when it's loose, it's gonna be puffy. But if you have a looser curl pattern, anywhere from 3A all the way to the one, the hair's just gonna seem loose and not necessarily frizzy, but it's just gonna be very stringy and you're gonna notice that there's hair outside of the dreadlock. But one thing I mentioned in the last video of John Morant is that anytime he does a hairstyle, it just cleans everything up and makes his hair look very mature. And that's what I wanna encourage you guys to do today. Just like we see right here, he has a two strand twist in and it makes the dreadlocks look very clean and very well put together. And the interesting thing about two strand twists for John Morant, he actually started out his dreadlocks with doing two strand twists. And that's actually a perfect method to start out with because it helps maintain the hair while within a actual hairstyle. And this is what I encourage a lot of people to do. When maintaining your hair, figure out a hairstyle that you like best for yourself and do that to maintain your hair versus doing a simple twisting with gel and then clipping it in with duck clips. I recommend doing a twisting with gel and then pulling it into a hairstyle, whether it be cornrows, box braids, two strand twists, or bantu knots, whatever hairstyle you choose to do, it typically looks a whole lot better than just leaving it in duck clips. So we seen before he had the two strand twist in and it looks very clean, but also this is probably one of my favorite hairstyles, even on anybody. We've seen Lil Baby wear this hairstyle as well. And overall, I mean, it just looks awesome on a full set of dreadlocks. If you have a full head, I would definitely recommend doing the cornrows or you can do barrel twists, really just anything that gives you this look. In my opinion, it looks really good. And just like I mentioned, even though his dreadlocks are puffy, when he pulls them into a hairstyle, you can't even tell. They look 100% maintained. All of his sections look really good. And that's honestly the beauty of doing hairstyles. That just goes to show that if your hair is messy or if it's not where you want it to be, you can always go in and do a hairstyle to make your hair look the way that you want it to. Now, obviously your hair has to be certain lengths for certain hairstyles, but there's definitely a hairstyle for everybody. It doesn't matter what your hair length is. It's just, you gotta figure it out and see what works best for you. But if your hair is long enough, I definitely recommend you to try cornrows or box braids or even two strand twists. And these are all things that you can do yourself. It's just a matter of learning them. And I will say that learning these skills is definitely important, especially if you wanna to continue to have your dreadlocks. But guys, comment down below what you think about John Moran's dreadlocks and also comment down below who you guys